She's free to do whatever she wants to do, to be wherever she wants to be. And the difference between a publisher like The Daily Wire and a platform like Locals is obviously that a platform should have a very broad range of speech that it allows, including speech that maybe even the creators don't believe is inside what they would consider to be the Overton window. That's a- hey guys, welcome to Barium Babs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin. Candice Owen versus Ben Shapiro. What has transpired? Candice Owens is now threatening Ben Shapiro. <laughs> we have more for you guys. Candice Owens has challenged Ben Shapiro to a debate. Candice Owens threatening Ben Shapiro that she's going to go on Joe Rogan and discuss or, you know, a whole bunch of things, right? According to Candice Owens, Ben Shapiro is on tour saying that he doesn't want to talk about Candice Owens, but he keeps talking about Candice Owens, okay? So here's the tweet that Candice Owens put out. We already did this video, okay? Candice put out, I was not aware of this. Maybe me and Rogan should get together and talk about it while pretending we're not talking about it. There was an email that leaked out, apparently, uh, once Candice Owens was fired, they had a meeting at uh, Daily Wire, allegedly, so who knows what is going on. So, Candice Owen also put out this tweet, okay, and this is what she's saying. Ben, we agreed not to talk about this, but you're very much going on a public tour right now, pretending not to talk about it. Why you're very much talking about it, would you like me to do the same? <laughs> so, Candice is, is threatening Ben that I can also play the same game, okay? I can even go on Joe Rogan. So, Ben Shapiro was on Megan Kelly's show, and Megan Kelly did ask the question at what is the deal with Candice Owens. So, let's listen in to what, how the question was posed and how Ben Shapiro answered the question. Do you think that Ben Shapiro is on tour to be discussing the Candace Owens firing at Daily Wire? Let's listen in ask you about the recent departure of Candace Owens. I know it's a subject that you probably don't want to discuss, but I would be remiss if I didn't at least go there. She left. It made tons of news. The right loves to eat its own, so they loved this. You know, either Ben's bad or Candace is bad, but somebody's bad, and we love it. It's like the right likes to eat the left, and they love to eat their own. They have absolutely no instinct for, like, self-preservation over on the right or, like, keeping their own coalition together. It's kind of interesting to watch. But I'm sure that whole thing was rather unpleasant. It's now spun into a debate about whether the Daily Wire is pro-free speech. Uh, The accusation is you are until it comes to Israel. How do you respond? I mean, what I will say is that we have a wide variety of positions on Israel right now inside the Daily Wire. Matt Walsh, obviously, is another one of the hosts at the Daily Wire. He and I wildly disagree about what America's Israel policy should be. Matt is much more isolationist. He basically believes the United States has no no real interests in the Middle East, and thus the United States should not be providing material support to anyone, including the state of Israel. You know, Matt, obviously, is well within you know the, the, the sort of group of hosts that we have here at the Daily Wire. So clearly, whatever is going on is not about Israel specifically. That's really all I have to say about it. As far as the free speech of it, as I've said before, you know, the, the Daily Wire is a, a publisher, not a platform. I would never call for anyone to be ousted from an actual platform, X, YouTube. I, I, even people who are, I, I think, absolutely horrific human beings, I've never called for any of them to be ousted. In fact, I've called for them to have their accounts restored if they've been banned. Uh, that, that's not the same thing when it comes to publishers. Publishers obviously have to decide what sort of things they wish to pay for the publication of. And, uh, and when it comes to, you know, yeah, hosts and, and publishers, you know, parting ways, obviously there will be a non-meeting of the minds. That's pretty much all I can say on that. Mm-hmm. This is why I don't go into business with anybody else, Ben. This is why This is why <laughs> I like to just be on my own little island here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you've done really well on that island, so. Well, it's good to have partnerships. Like I love, I love working with the Daily Wire and I've never found you guys anything other than pro free speech and the defense of it. Doesn't mean you have to be in business, as you point out, with people, no matter what they say. And I think Candace will, be, will do fine on her own. It wasn't a good match. I, per, I, for one, applaud the separation for a number of reasons. So there you have uh, Megan Kelly, okay? Well, I think it's no secret. Megan Kelly is no fan of Candace Owen. And I think Candace Owen is no fan of Megan Kelly either. Okay, so... That uh, that's how um, Ben Shapiro responded when uh, Megan Kelly asked. So, what else took place uh, with Ben Shapiro's situation? Candice Owens has challenged Ben Shapiro to a debate. Okay, and this is how Candice Owens challenged Ben Shapiro to a debate. Candice Owens has asked Ben Shapiro that uh, think the two of them should debate, and this is what Candice Owens put out. 
uh, you know, Candice Owen had asked Ben Shapiro for a debate that they should debate the meaning of anti-Semitism as well as the current events that, that's going on in Israel right now. So this is what Candice Owen put out. You know, I'm in London and I cannot appear in person. You have known for months I was going to uh, I was going to be in London this week. Daily Wire employees were initially slated to be here with me, so publicly pretending you guys are not aware of this seems odd. I can certainly um. I can certainly swing this virtually on Monday, one-on-one, -on -one, if you guys really just cannot wait for me to get back. But I'm refusing to allow this to happen on any Daily Wire platform. This request seems perfect, reasonable, and understandable to everyone. But the Daily Wire, why is that? Okay, so Candice Owen had requested that uh, challenge Ben Shapiro to a debate on Friday, and Ben Shapiro was on Sabbath. And Ben Shapiro responded, agreed, let's do it. Monday, 5 p.m., uh live in Nashville, in Nashville studios. So Candice Owen says like, no, I don't want it on a day wire platform, which I do agree with her that, okay, I think uh, that's fair for her to want like on, on a neutral ground, okay? Nothing to do with the daily wire. All right, so Jeremy uh, uh, Boring uh, responded to Candice Owen, okay? And Jeremy Boring responded, to Candice Owen, okay? And this is how uh, Jeremy responded. It's Sabbath, but I think Ben was clear one-on-one uh, -on -one in person, Nashville, Monday, 5 p.m. live stream on X and on YouTube. I'll add, there'll be no ads on the video and no charge to watch it. No one cashes in. You debated Destiny on his show without a moderator less than a month ago and... Uh, and go have debate plenty of people without a moderator on your show. You ask for a debate if you want it, come have it. Okay? And then Candice Owens put out this. I'll, I'll also throw in Joe Rogan as an option. Or you are bad, Alex Friedman, truly pick a moderator, or agree to do this live on 101 via channel that the day where I cannot cash in. And so this is what Candice Owens had put out, right? Jeremy Boring had already agreed to Candice Owens. Okay? That if, 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 you know, you want a debate, no problem. Let's, ha let, let's have the debate. You don't want on the Daily Wire platform? Okay, fine, Candice. We don't have to do it on a Daily Wire platform. And then Candice Owen ended up uh, adding on, let's do it on, uh, what's this guy's name? A PBD. Okay? And PBD ended up putting out uh, that, okay, I'm challenging. Okay, you guys can do it on my platform. I even give $250,000 to uh, Lydia's family, you know, the, the young lady who was murdered out in Texas. I don't think that was a good look on his part. Like, okay, if you want to donate to the family, I think just donate to the family. But don't use the situation between Ben Shapiro and Candice Owen as a pretext for you to donate to the family. That has got nothing to do with this situation. I didn't understand why PBD failed to throw in that name. I don't think that was a good look. And if you ask me, I don't think PBD will be um, a neutral moderator either because Candice is the one who suggested the, uh, PBD. And I don't think, you know, PBD and Ben Shapiro, they're in competition. So I don't know how that would transpire. So this is what Ben Shapiro put out, okay? Candice, I can see why you want to hide behind a moderator, particularly one who said we should rename our company The Dairy Jewish Wire yesterday. And that's what PBD said on his show when, you know, he, he was uh, commenting the situation between Ben Shapiro and Candice Owen. One-on-one, -on -one, Monday at 5 p.m., we can sit down and have a healthy debate like adults. And we'll live stream it on X and YouTube, take it or leave it. As to the true reason you didn't respond to my offer to sit down with you and discuss these issues, public or private, back in February, I have no idea. What the hell are you talking about? Then Candice Owen uh, responded, I'm sure you can appreciate why I'd prefer to keep this off the Daily Wire platform, as well as the true reason why we were never able to make any discussion happen. Let's choose a neutral trust with the platform. I vote uh, Patrick B. David. So, uh, you see, uh, so according to these two, there was an opportunity for them to discuss this issue privately long before Candice Owen was fired from Daily Wire. For whatever the reason, the debate never took place. So now Candice is putting out challenging Ben Shapiro publicly on this debate. That way, if Ben Shapiro says no, it will look like Ben Shapiro ran away from the de having a discussion with Candice Owen, which is not true. Not only that, why is Candice Owen invoking the name Joe Rogan?
Why is Candice Owen adding, uh, invoking Patrick B. David and all these other people? For what reason? For what purpose? Candice Owen can have this discussion without involving all those guys. I agree with her that they shouldn't have the debate on the Daily Wire platform. I think that is a fair thing for... Um, for Candace Owen to request, okay? Let's have the debate, but let's not do it on the on a daily wire platform. I think that's fair. Don't you guys think that's fair? I, I, I honestly think that's definitely fair. So Ben Shapiro find himself also talking to um uh Ruben, the Ruben report, okay? So we'll play that video uh just in a moment, okay? Okay, so before I play the video, let's sh let me show you the response that Jeremy Boring gave to Candice Owen. Okay, this is what Jeremy Boring put it. Jeremy Boring is the CEO of Daily Wire, the man who fired Candice Owen. And this is what Jeremy Boring put out. I don't know your international travel schedule, Candice. I know when you have wanted to talk to someone in the past, you've flown across the world to make it happen. Yes, Candice Owen made it happen all the way to go and interview Andrew Tate when Andrew Ted was under house arrest. I continue, you asked for a debate. Ben agreed to a debate, which is true. You don't want it on a Daily Wire channel? Fine, we can live stream it to your channels. You don't want to shoot it at Daily Wire Studios? Fine, we'll rent a studio in Nashville. You don't want a Daily Wire crew? Fine, we'll hire a local crew. You don't want Daily Wire to pay for it? Fine, you're rich, you can pay for it yourself. You don't want it. Uh, you don't. You don't want to do it on Monday? Fine, let us know how long you need to prepare. <laughs> Shots fired. We will not agree to a moderator, no third party to put their finger on the scale. I agree to that issue. We will not agree to a virtual event or edit a video live in person one-on-one. -on -one. The rest of this is just noise. So, this is fair, what they have granted to Candice Owen, okay? Candice Owen didn't want the Daily Wire. I agree with Candice Owen. Let's do it on a neutral ground. And the CEO of Daily Wire has been like, all right, fine. Everything that you ask Candice, we're going to do it. And they're going to pay for it. Because, like, you know, if you have to pay for the studio, right? Somebody has to pay for the, for, for the studio. Unless if Candice wants to pay for the studio. And these guys are offered, they're going to pay for it. And nobody's going to benefit from it. No ads. Uh, stream it on YouTube, on X, no nothing. So there'll be nobody getting uh, money out of this issue, right? So let's see. Will the real Candace Owens please stand up? I'm waiting to see this debate. Oh. <laughs> so uh, now Candace Owens, this is what she's saying. You know I'm in London. I cannot appear in person. Well, sweetheart, if you knew that you were in London, why were you requesting for a debate? Because you're the one who bring up this debate issue. It was Candice. If she knew that she's not afraid for the debate, why bring it up to begin with? And she continued, you have known for months I was going to be in London this week. Candice, that's besides the point. <laughs> you knew you were in London. Why did you bring up the debate issue? Okay. Is this how she's trying to run away from the debate? And Daily Wire employees were initially set to be here with me. So publicly pretending you guys are not aware of this seems odd. No, it's not odd. You brought up about the debate. So don't backpay no Candice, okay? You need to show up for this debate. I can set a uh, swing this virtually on one-on-one, Monday on one-on-one, -on -one, on one -on -one, if you guys really cannot wait for me to get back. But I'm refusing to allowing this to happen on any Daily Wire platform. Candice, they told you they don't want to do it on a Daily Wire platform. <laughs> <laughs> this request seems perfectly reasonable and understandable to everyone but Daily Wire. All right, guys, so you get the gist. They have acquiesced to all the demands that Candice Owens has put forward. So let's just wait and see if Candice Owens is going to show up for this debate. The debate topic is going to be uh, the meaning of anti-Semitism as well as the current events um, in Israel. Candice Owens was bluffing. Okay, this is my take. Candice Owen was bluffing. She did not expect Ben Shapiro to say yes to this. That's why she decided to start invoking other people who do not see eye to eye with Ben Shapiro. Okay? She name dropped Joe Rogan. Why are you naming Joe Rogan? She name dropped uh, Patrick B. David and actually added Patrick B. David to the tweet. Why are you, uh, why are you bringing in other men? Why are you adding uh, all these other people? What, what does, why, do other, why do these men got to do with everything that's going, going between you and Ben Shapiro? Why are you involving anybody? I didn't see Ben Shapiro involving anybody. 
that okay fine i can add in this person this person he didn't do that he just accepted the debate Candice Owen is the one who put up the challenge to the debate. Ben Shapiro has accepted the debate. So now Candice Owen wants to backpedal. Now Candice Owen wants to detect the terms. Now Candice Owen wants to add in all these other guys. If those other guys want to debate Ben Shapiro, I'm sure they can raise their hand that they want to debate Ben Shapiro and see what happens from there. But at this stand, they have agreed to everything that Candice Owen has asked. So if this debate doesn't happen... Candice Owen is going to play games and pretend otherwise, but no. She asked for debate. She knew she wasn't available. Now she'll be like, okay, the debate is not happening because Candice is in London. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. So let's see uh, if Lady Candice is going to show up. It'll be interesting to see this debate, yo. <laughs> I cannot wait. I want to see. But let's watch uh, the conversation that Ben Shapiro had with... Uh, the Rubin report, because th this guy also did ask Ben Shapiro the situation between Candace Owen and Ben Shapiro. Here we go. As I saw you this week on Piers Morgan, he asked you repeatedly about Candace. Uh, you repeatedly basically said, I won't talk about don't that. Want yeah, to talk I'll say about that here, it. too. I, I, yeah, <laughs> and that's fine. And, you know, it's interesting because we all sort of came up together to different extents and we've all done a million things together in public events and networks and all of those things. It seems to me that at this moment, She's now a free agent. She happened to end up on Locals, where which I created, and we they were a platform, not a publisher that you guys are. Can you at least talk to just sort of just sort of where it's at now? She's not with you. She's free. She's and, free to do whatever she wants to do, to be wherever she wants to be. And the difference between a publisher like The Daily Wire and a platform like Locals is obviously that a platform should have a very broad range of speech that it allows, including speech that maybe even the creators don't believe is inside what they would consider to be the Overton window. That's a very different thing than direct subsidization of particular opinions. So the Daily Wire would not have a host, would not pay a host who was staunchly pro-abortion. Mm -hmm. It would have no obligation to pay a host who is staunchly pro-abortion. And so when it comes to the hosts on The Daily Wire, obviously everyone is able to say what they want. Nobody ever comes to me and says, you can't say X. Nobody ever says that to Walsh. And no one ever said that to Candace. But the reality is that there is an Overton window at The Daily Wire. Obviously there was a non-meeting of the minds. That's pretty much all I can say on this. Uh, and, you know, a, a lot of this has happened publicly. Uh, and the, but, you know, to the extent that, that the Daily Wire is in fact not a publisher, it is a pla that, that is in fact not a platform, it is a publisher, that means that there is no moral obligation for the Daily, and there's no free speech problem with the Daily Wire saying we don't wish to pay a particular host or that host saying I don't wish to work here anymore because again, there's a parting of the ways that I'm, that, you know, is not really open for discussion at this point. Does, uh, does it surprise you that so many people, even on our side of this, are confused about that as it relates to free? Yeah, so, uh, Obviously, these people, they've agreed to certain things, so he's not going to discuss certain things. But he did deny that Candice was not fired because she tweeted out that Jesus is king. Candice was not fired because she holds to a different view when it comes to Israel. At least was, that's what Ben Shapiro has said. Candice only did tweet about Jesus is king in November. So if that was a reason to fire her, they would have fired her. But, uh, you know, I used to listen to Candice Owens following Candice Owens. When she started talking about the Israel situation, I realized, I saw like, no, she doesn't know what she's talking about. And then I had, I, I stopped listening to her. I'm like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can comment, you can add all things, but like, you know what? No, you're going too far with this, so, with all this issue. Long before she was fired. And then the next minute I see her that she was fired. I'm like, you know, was I surprised? No, I wasn't surprised. So, but this is good that, okay, you know, people want to know like, okay, you guys are for free speech, but this is their platform. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're not going to come on my channel and hide behind the term free speech. That's just not going to work. Those are the things that people say. But like, if you own something, you, you're you going to have the way you want things to be done on your platform. Okay. So yeah, Ben Shapiro is getting, is getting um, hit uh, on this issue. But you know, if he owns the company, man, he can just do whatever he wants to do. So I mean, Candace will be fine. Okay. She has enough following. So let's listen into some more free speech and quote unquote cancel culture, like severing a business tie, as long as you're not throwing someone in jail, they're able to be everywhere else is not. Uh, I'm not super surprised at the controversy, yeah. honestly, because to, to a certain extent, I think that there's been a, a reaction on the right to the excesses of the left. So because what the left did is they said that the Overton window ought to be closed so tight that no one can get inside the Overton window. Basically, if you're to the right of Hillary Clinton, 
you can't be allowed inside Welcome the Overton window. World, yes, exactly. <laughs> and and not just with regard to platforms, but with regard to publishers. So, for example, this week, NBC News deciding that Rana McDaniel was too much for them. Rana right. McDaniel can't work at NBC News. The sacred halls of NBC News must not be sullied by the former head of the RNC. Jen Psaki, however, can have a show on MSNBC, despite being the press secretary for the White House five seconds ago. Right? The, the, the right's response to that is, I think, correct to say, you guys have shut the Overton window too tight. But I think some elements of the right have basically said there is no Overton window. The Overton window should be completely exploded with regard not just to platforms, with which I kind of agree, but with regard to publishers. So NBC News not only has an obligation to hire Rana McDaniel, NBC News has the obligation to hire Alex Jones, for example. Right, I, which, I don't which think just that's makes true. no sense at a business level beyond beyond free speech. I mean, there's a reason that networks exist. It, if Right, they have, editor- they have editorial yeah. positions. Yeah. Daily Wire has a very strong editorial position on a wide variety of, of issues. And by the way, I should say that, you know, there are a lot of people who are suggesting this is about disagreements over Israel. I mean, I can safely say it is not about disagreements over Israel to the extent that, without reference to Candace at all here, Matt Walsh has taken the position that America ought not be involved in the Middle East at all. Matt Walsh's position, so far as I understand it, and I've talked to him about it, is that Israel, in a conflict between Israel and Hamas, Israel is obviously a more moral party than the genocidal terrorist group Hamas, but also it's very far away. He doesn't care and it doesn't involve America. That's just a pure isolationist position. I disagree with it. I think it's wrong. I think that, that it's short-sighted. But again, he's on our platform. That, that is well within the range of acceptable discourse at the Daily Wire. So you know, the, the notion that you have to mirror my exact perspectives on, on what Israel is doing in Gaza is obviously not true based on the roster of hosts that we, that we currently have. There are a lot of other factors, obviously, at play. So that's uh, that was Ben Shapiro commenting to the situation between her, the, the, the situation between him and Candice Owens. Okay, uh, I mean, you know, you ask me, I think Candice Owens got fired because she was too extreme about the Israel. And then she was adding in things that were just not true. I think Ben Shapiro and the team just got tired of it and they let her go. Yes, even Matt Walsh holds a different position, but I've never seen uh, Matt Walsh going, (laughs) you know, having issues whatsoever, like with Ben Shapiro. Candice Owen and Ben Shapiro have been at odds for quite some time. Okay, so at any job, if you're having issues with the boss, if you're having issues with the owner of the company, it's just a matter of time before they before they show you the door. That's just how things work. That's just how things work. I don't see how you can survive at a company. You have an issue with the person who owns the company and you're still just going to stay there. I just and it's just a matter of time that before people go their separate ways. But this is ongoing. It, it hasn't ended because uh, Candice is speaking a lot on, on on Twitter. She even put out, uh, she has, what do you call? Um, so now she has her own program that she's doing. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's, it's, uh, it's on Twitter. Okay. So this is what Candice has. Okay. Subscribe, $5 a month. Get bonus content when you sign up. Ask uh, ask me anything plus personal behind the scenes content. So Candice is doing this that, okay, you can ask her anything behind the scenes. You just have to pay for, you know, for the subscription. It's $5 a month and you'll be able to have, uh, you know, you'll be able to hear what's behind the scene, behind the scoop. She also said that, you know, there'll be a time where she's going to talk about it all. So obviously... There is a side of her story that, you know, would like to hear what's the side of the story. So far, whatever is happening is just happening on the Twitter, back and forth, back and forth. I'm sure these people, you know, they've signed contracts. She's the one who signed the contract with the Daily Wire. So I'm sure, you know, non-disparaging, non-disclosure, who knows what's behind that contract. But it looks like this battle is not going anywhere. We'll be here to bring you guys all the letters. But I'm interested to know what you guys think about this whole thing, okay? Do you think that there's there, there? Oh, we're just making a big deal out of nothing. I'm interested to know. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.